Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how you can apply your UV transfer or UV print transfer on your glass can. And as you can see, I am doing a voiceover because I totally forgot. Only when I'm editing this video, I realized that there's a music playing in the background and that's a big no-no for YouTube and I don't want to get in trouble when I post this video. So I decided to just do a voiceover. So here I'm just spraying my glass can with alcohol. Make sure you are very generous with your alcohol when you're cleaning your glass can um, because you don't want any natural oil or dirt on your glass can when you're applying your UV wrap. This is to avoid any bubbles and um, you won't have any problem with your vinyl or sorry not your vinyl your uv print sticking onto your glass can so um i'm going to go ahead and put the link down in the description below where you can get this uv wrap um these are best sellers so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be sure when i post this if these wrap are still available but yeah i'm gonna put the link down in the description below and you can go ahead and check that out so make sure before you apply your UV wrap onto your glass can, um, you want to go ahead and measure first because I know not every glass can is made the same way, if that makes sense. Sometimes it's smaller, sometimes it's wider, bigger, right? So you have to make sure that you measure it first uh, before peeling off your UV wrap. I already did that prior to making this video, but yeah, so here I am just putting the cardstock um, down and I'm just kind of carefully placing it, make sure, making sure it's straight. So you just put down the center, um, start, make sure that it's center because if not, then you're going to have a problem when you try to place everything down. And once it's down, you, you can't remove it anymore. That's how strong the adhesive of this uv wrap is it's really really strong and it's going to be hard for you to remove it so it's just be careful do it very slow don't rush it so use the cardstock again that came with a uv wrap make sure you use the glossy side don't use the back because if you do use the back side your uv print will stick on that and you can't remove it anymore so yeah, just use the glossy side and here you just press it down. You can either press it down with your finger. I would recommend using a squeegee just so that you can make sure that there is no bubbles when you place your UV wrap down. You can use the soft side, you can use the hard side. Just make sure you're pressing it as much as you can. Um, so here, as you can see, I am just doing it slowly, making sure that I don't make a lot of mistake. And when you do turn your cup, make sure that on the other side, you're still mindful that it's not sticking to anything. Okay, so like I said, once this stick onto any surface, you can't remove it anymore and that's it. Um, the adhesive of this UV wrap is very, very strong. So you just squeegee it down. So while I am, you know, making sure securing every print onto the glass can, I just wanted to let everybody know that this is a great way for a small business owner to start on their Etsy or any platform that you wish to sell your um, glass can. Um, not only that, it's less time um, to make this, because before, you know, anybody who's using Cricut or anything like that, you need time to design your product, you need time to cut them out, weed them out. This is very easy. It literally took me, I would say, less than 10 minutes to complete one cup. Now, the only reason why it's taking me so long is because I want to make sure I'm showing everybody um, without fast forwarding it so to make sure that everybody can know the process and how long it takes um, you can do it faster people just stick it on and rip it out um, but you know you would just 
have a little bit of bubbles here and there but for me i like to make sure that my customer gets the best quality you know you don't want to rush everything and you if you're selling this as a business you know this would represent your business so if you're doing it really really sloppy and you're rushing it then the quality would not be as great as you would want it to be so you just take your time making sure that the quality is a part to your standard so yeah just press it down um, there's a good profit margin with this one because the material cost is a little bit um, compared to other stuff um, and also everything is done for you right so only 10 minutes and then you can probably get a profit of more than $15 per cup so that's totally up to you of how much you sell it but I've seen this um, glass can go for like $25 a piece in or even 30 some of them really um, but like as you can see it only it's probably like the cost of this material is like around 10 to 12 dollars 12 dollars maximum okay so some uv wrap will overlap and that's fine um so what you do is you just peel off the clear film on the other side and then you press down your the other part like what i'm doing right now i hope i'm explaining it well um, and then you just press it down some more just to make sure that ad the adhesive stick on and grab on to your glass can even longer. And yeah, so you can use your finger, you can use your squeegee, it is totally up to you. But you have to make sure that there is no bubbles. And in order to avoid the bubbles, you have to press down your wrap. Oh yeah, and one more reminder for um, beginner business owner out there. Uh, when you do sell this one, you have to make sure that you always give your customer a care card. Um, so a care card, that is how they can take care of their glass can um, for it to, you know, prolong its um, quality. Uh, you have to make sure that you let them know that it is not dishwasher safe. Um, this is not microwave safe and <laughs> do not soak it. Do not use any hard scrub or hard chemical to wash your glass can. Um, just to, you know, make sure that it saves you from any complaint later on um, because they are not dishwasher proof and some people like to throw their stuff in a dishwasher and they don't like to hand wash but anyway here as you can see i'm just peeling off the film slowly make sure you do it very slow um, just to prevent any mistakes so sometimes um, the print will not stick to the glass can because you probably miss a spot or you didn't press it hard enough um, so what would you do if that happened is that you just place the clear film back on again and then you press it again you don't have to put the entire thing on just for that one bit that is sticking to the clear film just place it back on and press it again and then peel it off again as you can see in here you see that part so that tiny part right there is still sticking to the clear film that's why i place it back down again and squeegee it some more and then there you go it finally stuck to the glass so yeah we are all done and this is what it looks like thank you all so much and i hope you enjoyed this video bye